Hey everybody, it's your old buddy, almost clean shaven Jim, lives up in East Tennessee, likes to be prepared for various things. I don't know what I just did to my camera, hope I didn't freak nobody out. I hope everybody's having a good weekend. I think I'm going to put this uh, one up on Sunday. I don't want to bombard everybody with my high tech videos. I want to talk today about a bug out location. Do you have a have a bug out location? Do you have a plan A, B to get there? Because uh, as much as everybody plans on bunkering in, which is my plan, uh, something might happen that you might have to. You know, I live next to a place that makes uh, chemicals. Might have a chemical release, so I have to leave in a hurry. Never know what could happen. So, always good to have a, a backup plan. So, I know where mine's at. Uh, it definitely isn't within walking distance unless you want to spend a couple of days getting there. Because if you're walking, you're only as fast as the slowest person in your party. And I have an eight year old, so I could get there, but it would take a while. So, do you have your bug out bags packed? I have one pack for just about everybody, so. But that is definitely not the main plan, is to pack up and take off. My main plan is to stay where I'm at, because that's where all my good stuff's gonna be. And I think next week, on my off days, I'm talking about selling this place again, we'll see. And I found a little place with an old fixer upper. It's got about 11 acres. So I'm not going to tell anybody where it's at because it's a good deal, I think. I'll see you next week and might be moving. But, you know, the only reason I haven't moved yet is because uh, the downturn in the economy and losing a good, good paying job, but now everything's starting to level back out. So. Do you guys have a bug out plan? Do you have a bug out location? Do you know how to get there? Do you have a backup route to get there? And my backup route would really suck because I'd be going across the mountains, but we don't, don't want to do that. But anywho, I hadn't done much today. I do want to brag on my chickens. I've got nine hens. I had one that died about a month ago, but I got nine eggs today, so. I'm not going to complain about that. That's a pretty good percentage for as cold as it was last night. I think it was in the low 20s here, and it's only about 35 right now. So that's pretty good, pretty good laying for winter time. So, but they'll go with me if I do go. I love my chickens. I'll take good care of them, and hopefully they keep taking good care of me. And uh, there's a lady I've been talking to. She's wanting some chickens, so I'm going to try to hatch her some out in the spring. Actually gave two dozen eggs away today. I gave a dozen to my sister and a dozen to my cousin. We went visiting family up in Virginia today. Sorry, I'm distracted. Planes going by. Looks like a passenger jet. So always good to, to visit with the relatives. Um, and Virginia. It's where I'm from, and it seems like it's getting straightened out too. So, let me know if you guys have a, a bug out location predisposed where you're going to be, and where you're going to go, and how you're going to get there. And, or do you plan on staying home and making your home the Alamo if you have to? Uh, a lot of different theories on that, but a lot of stuff's happening makes people think about things like this. Tensions are high. Political tensions are high. I believe it's on purpose. It's intentional. I'm not sure. I mean, I'm not that... Well, I guess I am a political person, but I still believe when you get right down to it, Republican, Democrat, both different wings of the same bird. Speaking of birds, there's some good laying chickens. Not sure even what kind they are. Tell you the truth, I got them and they weren't marked. 
and I don't care because they lay good and they're pretty tame. I can walk in there, they don't do nothing. I got a, a rooster in there somewhere, silky, so I'm anxious to see what the offspring is going to look like if I ever do hatch any out. So I hope everybody's having a good weekend. I hope you're still prepping. Uh, Lucky Dame Preparedness put up a, a good deal on her community page about a pancake mix from Augustin Farms being on sale. So I appreciate that. I took advantage of it. And I got some more stuff from Augustin Farms. So just a little bit when I can. I'm definitely not rich or well off, but you do what you can when you can. And if you do that, it adds up. So everybody enjoy your weekend, and I'll talk to you fine folks later. This is Jim, out for now. Adios, amigos.